What's up guys, Knife Jim here, back with another VGC video. We're going to be talking about the latest regionals that just ended today, actually, um, on the 27th of March. The Liverpool regionals, another in-person regionals. I'm very excited to say that it seems that in-person regionals um, are kind of back in full effect here. Um, maybe, you know, still a lower, a bit lower of players. I think this one had, what, 185? 185 players in the Master Division, which is a little smaller than usual, but still you know, a respectable amount of players, which is pretty cool. It is, of course, VGC Series 12, so current series, you know, to double restrict it, all of that, all of that good goodness. Um, we do have eight Swiss rounds and then plus, uh, and then top eight single elimination. And this is actually played out as we see fifth place is the 8-0. Um, and if this was Swiss placements, they would be in first. So this is actually played out top eight cut. So we see the best of the best in order, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, Let's get into the actual meta analysis here. So Liverpool Regionals 2022 meta analysis. Let's go. In first place, we have Eric Rios, a very um, well decorated player, very good player. Um, this uh, you'll probably he'll probably post a team report on um, Twitter as well. So if I can find that, I'll you know bring that up. But uh, yeah, we have the uh, same team, same six at least as far as six Pokemon go. You know the spreads and stuff might be different, but same six that took the last regional. Um, who was it that won the last regional? I don't remember. I'm bad with remembering specific names and stuff, but this is the team that got there. So this is another, once again, another team, um, that is really dominating, dominating the format. Zacian Groudon with the Sun Core here with the, um, the Charizard. And then for support, we've got the Incineroar, Gastron, and Grimmsnarl. So a very strong six, something that we are, you know, expecting, um, to see intros for the rest of the format for sure. Um, you know, log into P, P uh, excuse me, log on to Pokemon Showdown and you see this team everywhere, literally everywhere. I think Moxie Boosted posted a, uh, a tweet about that the other day. Shout out Moxie Boosted, the boy. Um, but yeah, really, really cool stuff. You know, this team is expected and for it to win back to back events, pretty crazy. Um, now, fortunately, this is the only. Um, no, 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 that's not, that's not true. There are multiple actually in top eight. So, um, you know, this six of is a, a very, very expected. If you go to an event or play online events or anything, be prepared for this team. Um, and, and, and at least this team, like at the very minimum, be prepared for this six. Cause this is, you're going to see it. You're going to see this six, this six team. Um, you're also going to see just like Suncore with other stuff, as we saw, you know, players like Aaron Zhang brought, um, you know, Suncore without um, the Zacian. We've seen, you know, different variations of it and expect to see different variations moving forward. But as far as just like, you know, what teams are dominating, this six is just dominating. It's doing the most, um, you know, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, in second, we have Thomas uh, Gravuil. Um, we have Thomas. And um, this player actually has a really interesting team. They should Dinjo on the team, which is really cool. But we do see the Tornadus Zacian Kyogre core here with the Kartana as well. So this is one of the main um, cores we are expecting to see, especially in um, Series 12. And now, you know, we are still seeing it, but we are seeing the format more so heavily uh, leaning towards that drought, um, that sun core. So seeing a little bit of Kyogre here and there is really cool as well. It is a good counter it, as well as um, just like, you know, good counter play. It is a really difficult matchup both ways. Um, you have to play, you have to dance around the weather very, very cautiously. So, um, you know, seeing finals be this and then sun coming out on top. Very, um, very cool. You would definitely think rain would come out on top, right? But like, there's not really any reason just because rain covers fire, but that's not really how it works because they're, they're different entities. It's not like they're not happening at the same time. They're different entities. Um, so like playing around weather is really wild. Uh, definitely when we saw um, double restricted um, format open up, this was what we were expecting the format to be. It was going to be Kyogre, Zacian teams, and and, uh, and Sun, um, you know, Groudon, Zacian teams. This is what we were expecting to dominate the format, and this is what is dominating the format is these two um you know, these two duos, these two different weather cores, they're really powerful. Um, we do see, I, I said Tornadus. This is not Tornadus. This is Thunderous. I'm tripping. Um, but yeah, Zashi and Kyogre in Incineroar, the Kartana taking advantage of that rain. We have the Shedinja and the Thunderous. So a very overall interesting team. This is to pro, one, one is to assume this is probably Defiant, um, you know, keeping away that Incineroar from your dog. Um, and so on. So very cool. And, and the Kartana, of course. So very cool team. Seeing Shedinja brought to a second place finish at a regional, an in-person regional of almost 200 players is very, very interesting um, to see. Very cool. 
So awesome stuff to Thomas. In third place, we have Ben with the Shadow Rider team. Um, that's cool. Obama Snow as well. The um, Alo what is this? Um, I can't think. Galarian. Um, Darmanitan. I just had it in my head. But yeah, that's a really cool um, you know, thing to be on the team. I wonder what it is. It's probably not Zen mode. It's probably the uh, the hustle. Um, you know, choice band hustle. Maybe it's not hustle. I can't think of what the uh, the actual effect is the ability but it gives it a choice band essentially so it's just like a hard hitting um you know physical attacker really really good at punching people and uh this team is like pretty well balanced though because you do have like a really strong special sweeper as well with the cali um however it is it does definitely seem to be a, a very frail team um so this is definitely like a, a more so hyper uh hyper offense route of a team hyper offense what a weird way to say that hyper offense team um very strong ho team with the uh the cali so that is really cool. Also, very good anti-intimidate. This could be Prankster potentially as well. Um, we don't know, but it's probably not because we do have a Whimsicott kind of taking like the supportive Prankster role. We don't really need that on multiple. Um, but the team definitely seems like these, neither of these want to be intimidated, the Zacian or the uh, the Darmanitan. So we do have the Thunderous, you know, kind of gatekeeping that intimidate, which is pretty nice. And in a format where um, you know double intimidate is not like. In the most uncommon thing in the world like intimidate is everywhere uh lando's definitely really 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 died down but overall still like intimidate is everywhere with the incineroids and stuff so very cool team um you know seeing darman is pretty cool so in fourth place we have philip um with the bronzong tech ooh, um with the probably ones to assume you know trick room side with the groudon so i'm really curious to see the evs on that groudon see how that speed tier is going ones to assume the trick room and the uh the you know max airstream and the electro web all play into um just making that groudon insane um which is really cool we also do see the incineroar um on the team you know good support but we also do see the venusaur so a nice little sun core there without the charizard um opting to go for that venusaur excuse me instead um which is something that we like to see in the format venusaur is uh kind of falling out in the format it's not everywhere like it was uh charizard's kind of taking that offensive gigantamax role a little bit more so in this format um, as we see it, you know, kind of dominating, but, uh, you know, don't sleep on the boy Venusaur because he'll, he'll make you sleep on him with sleep powder and stuff like that guy's crazy, dude. Um, anyway, next we have fifth place, the only eight O the only XO in Swiss. Very cool. Um, Terran very, uh, this is a good player actually as well, like, or like a unknown player as well. Nothing any of these other players aren't. I just like, you know, know the name. Anyway, um, <clears throat> really cool team here. Um, you know, nothing too crazy, but it is a pretty, um, you know, Zacian uh, Kyogre team. We do have a nice little Amoongus on there as well. Zapdos really, um, you know, helping control the speed with those max airstreams. Very solid. Um, Urshifu, probably dark. Uh, that's really been the format. Not really like an Urshifu, um, you know, water. Is, it, it doesn't really peek its head out um, that frequently, but... It is unfortunate to whiff top uh, top four after going 8-0 in Swiss. It's unfortunate, but hey, you know, still still getting there. Um, you know, at the end of the day, still went XO. Hey, it's still props. Anyway, in sixth place, we got Cameron um, with the Lunala team, which is something we really like to see. You know, Lunala has really shown out of the format. Um, really, Trick Room as a whole has kind of fallen out of the format a little bit more. Um, of course, we still see it, you know, everywhere. Um, you, I mean, we still see it, you know, um, with especially with really powerful restricteds like Groudon and Kyogre that are kind of mid more, it's more so middling speed of the uh, the restricted. So, um, you know, you can definitely see a lot more hybrid teams and a lot more Trick Room mix up kind of stuff with Lunala. So that was pretty cool. Um, we see that a lot in the format with like Mimikyu, like last um, last regional. Um, we saw like a couple Mimikyu's and stuff in top eight. That is more so like a, a mix up, but this uh, also brings a lot to the table while also bringing that like mix up kind of thing, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, we do have a Suncore here as well. Um, we've got the Venusaur Groudon um, once again. You know, not bringing that Charizard, which is something we like to see. I, I think everybody's really expecting the Charizard, probably the Charty Charizard. Um, and you know, the Venusaur is a little bit less expected, less prepared for right now. It really seems, I mean, of course, you know, it still can take a big fat L to that Charty Charizard, but Hey, we're still doing nice stuff with the, the Venusaur, I imagine. Um, so yeah, really cool team. We do like to see Lunala. We just like to see mix ups on the restricteds to be honest. Um, you know, that's something we love to see in a restricted format, especially one this thin where it's really, you know, do heavily dominated by Zashi and Gra Groudon, Kyogre, Pokemon like that. We do love to see, like, Lunala's pop up, you know, so Galios, Dusk Mains, um, Kali's, you know, all these kind of cool restricteds pop up. And um, taking top eight uh, at a regional is, you know, it's a feat. So 
That's cool. In seventh place, we have Ling, Lung, Lang, Loing. We got Draco. Uh, and uh, this is another uh, of the same six, you know, the Grim Snarl. Um, Gastron Sun team, something that we are, you know, to be expected now. If you're not prepared for this team, uh, what are you doing? Don't go to a tournament. Don't play in the tournament if you're not expecting this team. Be prepared for this team. This is the this is the team of the format. This is like the the team of Series 12, um, right? So, yeah, good stuff to um, Draco. In eighth place, we have Stefan, Stefan, Stephen, Stefan. We have Stefan. Um, that's how I would assume. Uh, we got Zashi and Kyogre, another, um, you know, very, very basic uh, Swordfish um, era, um, you know, team with the Zapdos. We've got the uh, pretty solid, you know, base core, the screens and the Intimidate and the Rillaboom. So very cool. Um, that that rounds off our top eight, you know, some really interesting stuff in there. We see a Darman, we see a Shedinja, we see um, a Lunala team, which is awesome. Uh, a Hyper Offense Calyrex team. Really cool stuff. Um, props to every player in top eight. And um, we'll look over the rest of the teams, but I'm not going to go as in depth. Anyway, in ninth place, we have Francisco with the Sun team that is not using Charizard. We're bringing the Venusaur, so love to see it. Wait, why did I say Sun? There's no Sun on this team. There's just a Venusaur and a Kyogre. So we have a very good counterplay um, to the Sun team with that Kyogre um, or with the Venusaur, but you can still dance around that weather with Kyogre itself, so that's cool. Um, you know, you have a one weather, but it really takes advantage of a different weather, which makes it feel like a dual weather, but it's not. Um, so that's a really cool team. We do love seeing Swordfish with the uh, the Venusaur tech on it. It's interesting. In 10th place, we have Damien with the Swordfish as well. We got the Ferrothorn, which is cool. Um, packing a wallop in this format. In 11th place, we got Matt with the um, Ice Rider Calyrex and the uh, Polkia team. P2 on the team as well. Amoongus, a very nice Trick Room core. Um... This player kind of needs that trick room to go up, although Polkia, uh, Polkia, although that Polkia get, you know, um, Polkia and Electro Web can still do a lot of damage with that Incineroar and Amoongus in the back. So this player does not need it to go up, but this player dominates in trick room format as well. Um, so don't let this player get trick room up. It's not going to be very good for you, but Palkia Electro Web can play out of it very, very easily as well. In 12th place, we have Elliot with the Shedinja team. Is this a... Uh... Yeah, 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 it looks like it. It looks like the same as Thomas, so awesome stuff. Um, Shedinja, Shedinja, baby, Shedinja, everybody. In 13th place, we have Will Tansley with the six, um, you know, the the team that we were talking about, the Sword, um, Groudon, Sun, Zashian team with the Charizard, the Gastron, the Grim, all the works. In 14th place, we have Francis, uh, Francisco, Frances Fran Francisco, probably, um, with the another seemingly hyper offense, but this does have more of a solid defensive backbone in the back with the um, the Gastron and the Rillaboom Insin. Um, but we do see the Thunderous as well as the Zacian with the hyper offense Kali. Um, Calyrex Shadow Rider is really just an HO Pokemon. You know, it's typically a very fast Life Orb user that just slaps people around with some special attacks. Um, so that's pretty good. In 15th place, we have Daniel, Danielle. Um, with the Sun team, so Galio, so that's cool. Both of these Sun starters, we have Charizard and Venusaur featured on this team, as well as a Suicune, um, which is really cool. You know, a very defensive Mon that can uh, provi provide good support via Tailwind. Um, also, damage reduction with Snarl. So, a lot of really good tools on that Pokemon. Just has to be, you know, very, very well used on its team. So, good stuff. In 16th place, we have Francois. With a Dusk main Eveltal team with a Dusk there as well. So very good under Trick Room while also not needing it. Uh, Arcanine instead of Incineroar, really interesting. Oh, by the way, let's look at Incineroar and Zacian stats for top 8. Because that I forgot to do and that is a big deal. Um, so out of top 8, we have one, uh, two players not using Zacian, only two. I mean, what do you expect, right? That's the format. Zacian. Zacian is the format. So two players were not using Zacian. Um, both those players were still using Sun. So we are still seeing Sun without Zacian. Uh, Sun is a good counter to Zacian. Slap that boy with a max flare um, in the, uh, you know, optimal positioning. And uh, that's a that's a dead um, sword man, um, which is pretty good. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, um, also, as far as the Insin stats, we also, once again, have six. So, um, you know, six out of top eight players using Insin, six out of top eight players using Zacian. And 
Oh, drum roll, please. Uh, there was one of both Pokemon on every single team. So not a single team in the top eight had neither Zacian or Incineroar. Just a couple, you know, fun usage stats for your daytime, um, you know, your daytime television and stuff. Uh, Zacian and Incineroar still run the format. Gotta love it. Anyway, in 16th. 16th place uh like this team seeing dusclops is cool but we also do see the arcanine instead of the instant roar which is just interesting um i don't know if it's optimal it could definitely be optimal in this team i mean it's it does different things right you know like we typically see like a snarl more specially defensive um arcanine and uh it can do potentially more damage as well to be ev spread that way but it's typically going to be kind of more of a special user um you know running those snarls heat waves uh will-o-wisp stuff like that it takes more of like a um, annoy your opponent's guys roll than like fake out stuff you know what I mean but it is cool to see you know not the Rillaboom in sin quite as much uh, more so the Arcanine Rillaboom here so it's just cool anyway in 17th place we have Jack with the Lunala uh, Groudon play which is cool Tapu Fini on there as well Tapu Fini is nice this format definitely does some good work especially on like with a lot of like powerful physical attackers like Groudon and stuff you have things running around like will o -Wisp. oh gotcha tapu finny just ruins those days which makes that pretty nice in 18th place we have andre uh, the giant with the first lando that we've seen what really okay <clears throat> first lando we see um you know not too not too surprising uh it is definitely a more especially attacking format uh except for the zashian of course obviously zashian is in the format but zashian is the uh I, I don't know what I'm saying, dude. We see Groudon, too. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. Groudon can be special, though. Um, but I don't think it takes a special role prime, uh, you know, dominantly. Um, but we do see a lot of Charizard and Kyogre. So, it's a pretty even split, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Andre the Mountain. Um, the Giant. Andre the Great. Andre Montine. Um, first first Lando. Very cool. Um, next, in 19th, we have Callum. Um, Kai? Kyum? Kyum? Is that how this pronounced typically i don't know um we do see swordfish um pretty standard stuff there cool 20 alexandra with the indeedy um which is interesting but we do have once again a very uh, a very stern trick room uh core here no um no regilacky to make kind of like those ends meet uh, more so just like you know mid speed stuff and then um trick room so you this player de definitely wants trick room um <clears throat> up on the field at all times possible um so that's cool in 21st place, we have Bram. Uh, Bram the boy, the vampire. Um, with the uh, the Sun Dog team. Now, what do you expect? 22nd place, we got Florian with a wet dog team. Um, swordfish. I swordfish or wet dog? What do you guys like more? I feel like wet dog is like makes more sense, but swordfish sounds better. I don't know. Um, but is this, this is another one? Cool, cool. So this is a core? This is something people are using? That's cool. Um, next, we have Nicole in 23rd place with the Calyrex, Shadow Calyrex with the uh, the Sun Core. Cool. I like to see that. In 24th place, we have Lee with the Swordfish. 25th, we have Marco Silva with the Swordfish with the Tornadus. There we go. The Raichu. Let's go. Keep the, the, uh, the Kyogre healthy. Let's go. I'm about it. 26th, we have Sean with the, um, you know, the Sun Dog team. T Hot Dog. Hot Dog and Wet Dog. Is that the best ones? Hot Dog and Wet Dog? 26th that's what we just covered 27th we have alex with the reshiram 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 really cool um this player brought the mimic as well a uh, nice little mix up there but not only really a mix up as we see this team is a very slow team um definitely likes to be under trick room you know predominantly um so that's really cool in 28th place we have paul with the wet dog team as well as the dragapult that's cool that's something we don't see too frequently unless it's with colossal in 29th place we have victor with another wet dog team with the tornadus and the uh raichu in 30th place we have scarlet seismitoad yes yeah i like seeing seismitoad seismitoad kyogre this is a cool team i like that 31st place we got jonas with the um you know the the cali hyper offense team here with uh, a bit of an indeedy um you know lando core in the back that nice little um you know not just instant tied it to a to a super effective attack team uh so that's pretty cool and in 32nd place last but not least because he's still top 32 is gilberto um that's a cool name i've only ever heard like gilbert and like Re roberto like that's cool gilberto i like that 
I might name my son that. That's cool. I like that. Uh, anyway, we do have the uh, Calyrex Ice Rider uh, with the Palkia team. A little bit of Trick Room stuff there. Uh, definitely want to be under Trick Room with the Amoongus as well. But we do have the Regilecki for the Palkia core. I like this team. I like this team a lot. Um, it's, it's very similar to the other team that I said I liked. Yeah, the Regi the other Regilecki Palkia. Yeah, very, very close. However, um, it's uh, this one plays something else instead p2 what's our p2 no it's not p2 okay so it is the p2 that was different the tapu finny is that what it was yeah p2 for tapu finny i don't know which one um i would try i would have to test both for sure both these players that did a lot of testing i imagine anyway that is um really it for the video we don't have any more usage stats or anything to go over unfortunately but hey still um, really cool. Anyway, that is everything for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a big difference. It really does. Um, all the normal YouTube spiel. Have a good week and goodbye.